what's his name? Is his name Rise? Rays? Something like that. But he's a cleric. Rise. Um, clerics don't attack in any of the games. There are, there are classes that can use stabs later on that can attack. But just a cleric by themselves only heals. So they have a weapon, which is a staff. I already mentioned that. But all they can do is heal. So basically he's just an infinite number of vulnerabilities. But he has to be standing next to the person. Unless it has like a long range thing. But I don't know if that's in this game or not. I think it's like recovery or something like that. That's long range. I probably should have skipped the dialogue again. Sorry, bad habit. A letter. Was it even anything important? I don't remember this part, so it probably wasn't important. Nah, it doesn't look like it's important. Just a thank you letter. <laughs> Looks like it was important. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it just an excuse for this level to go fight people? Because this is, in my opinion, still just an extended tutorial. Until a certain huge plot point happens, in my opinion, this beginning area is just a giant tutorial. I mean, people can still die during it, so, in that sense, it's not, but. It's easy enough. As you saw, so long as you think ahead and like actually look at the stats and whatnot, it's fairly simple to clear that past level, and I'm assuming this level as well. I mean, I obviously overlooked the uh, house being burned down, but hey, nobody's perfect, right? Mm Oh, that's right. I remember they took a uh, Mist and Rolf hostage, if I remember correctly. Or did Mist go off on her own to save Rolf? I don't remember. But Mist is the same class as Rise, uh, being a cleric. Um, I don't remember which one's better. I I'm gonna raise them both anyways because I know that Mist actually. Uh, Becomes, I think it's uh, called a troubadour, a troubadour, or something like that. Basically, it's a mounted cleric. And I think she also gets access to using swords once that happens. So, Mist is worth raising. Just because she's a versatile character. <laughs> Boyd, cocky bastard, I have weapon type advantage. <laughs> you can't do shoot to me. So I'm just gonna go fight the bandits because they took people hostage and Boyd's being cautious. Or trying to get Ike to be cautious, I think, is what I was catching. Oh, only one bandit? Oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> this is gonna be a piece of cake. Why don't we just rush them, guys? I mean, why do we have to listen to this monologue? We can just rush them. Save the entire level. But alas, no, we have to both wait for the monologue, and then we have to wait for all the reinforcements to arrive. I think it's actually funny that Titania didn't really do anything except for kill one guy, and yet he wants revenge against Titania, because under normal circumstances, uh, a novice player would totally have just used Titania to just storm that entire level. Again, I already explained why not, because it's a waste of XP. <sighs> I beg to differ. We're going to kick your hiney. Because <laughs> we have a cleric, and this makes all the difference. Hold on, I do have a staff, yes? It doesn't look like you... Oh, okay. So they don't actually equip staffs in this game. That... That, I guess, makes sense. So we got some bros over here. Oh, it's range. I'm starting to get tired. Oh, at least I'm starting to feel better from that Bloodborne craziness. 
I'm not sore all over the place, and my brain's still a little bit loopy, but for the most part, I'm doing okay. Hey, bud. Oh, wait. I should probably... Can Boyd reach him? Yes, he will be able to reach him. Okay, I was gonna say, otherwise, I just have Boyd trade with I can get that iron axe, but... You know, I should probably... Oh, stop that. Go through all of them and make sure none of them drop anything. In other games... Oh, okay, it's highlighted in red in this game. I was gonna say, in other games, items they drop is highlighted in green. Um, that's another thing you normally want to do is check all the units. And you see a little thing where that guy's got a face? Normally means one of two things. Either they're a boss, they're a plot important character, or they're a character that you can recruit. Um, in which case, normally, there's some kind of hint on how you can recruit him. In this case, he's a boss, and bosses you can almost never recruit. It is true for this current scenario. Um, but I think I probably scrolled through all of them by now. Anyways. So some of them do drop stuff, but this guy doesn't drop stuff. Because I don't want to have to throw stuff away again. Stop it. Nah, I always push the wrong button. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, so I'm good for now. I can just move willy-nilly with Ike and not have to trade. Come at me, bro. I've got weapon advantage and you might miss because you barely got a 50%. Miss! Nope. Oh well. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <clears throat> it's not that much damage. I can probably tank from the other- Oh, wow! Boyd would have been able to do times two? I think Boyd could have killed that guy by himself. How much HP did he normally have? I can't count the tick marks fast enough. But Boyd might have been able to kill that guy by himself. I probably should have looked at that before doing Ike. Oh, well, whoopsie doops. How are these fellas? Axes have a type advantage, so I'll come back for these guys later. Yeah, they're nowhere close to my range. Oh, much yawn. Much unprofessional. Uh, it's fine. It's probably fine. Everything's fine. Fine and dandy. Uh, can Rise reach Ike? He can. Alright, here we go. Cleric time. Woo -woo. Get your healing on. Even though he didn't restore very much. It's usually a good idea to use a cleric whenever you can, even if it's just one HP, because it's really hard to level up clerics in most games. In this game, you get some bonus EXP that you can invest, uh... I guess you should probably let plot happen. And no, he's not sniffing as in... <laughs> he's sniffing as in he's crying. But I mean, you probably could have got that based off from Mist's little sentence there, so... I just wanted to make sure you guys understood that Rolf's a little poopy whiny baby. He can be really good because he starts out as like a really, really weak character, and so like Titania basically is already strong and doesn't have a lot of room to grow. Usually characters that start weak and have a lot of room to grow end up being really strong. If I remember correctly, Rolf is really strong. I don't know if he's really strong in this game, or if he's really strong in the next game. But I know that in one of the games, he can be really good. Uh, and yes, you do eventually get to use him as a unit. Hmm. Let me double check with Boyd. Make sure Boyd can't just kill these guys. Okay, no, he can be at one left. This guy you can kill. Okay. Uh, under normal circumstances, you'd want to use the terrain to your advantage. So those bushes. Uh, in other games, it looks more like trees, but in this case, it's bushes. They um, they increase your uh, mind fart. Sorry, uh, avoidance rate. They increase your avoidance rate, so they're less likely to hit. It makes sense, because, like, visibility is blocked and whatnot, so... I don't know. It makes sense to me, anyways. Oh, I think he's still out of range from the other guys. He can take this one guy, right? 
yeah, just six damage. Well, times two because the other guy's gonna hit him next turn probably. But even so, twenty-seven ex not exp, twenty-seven HP. He can do it. I just realized that uh, my reasoning for playing this game was because I was exhausted physically, and so I couldn't do anything that had quick reflexes in a strategy game. Is good, but in my haste. I, uh, I realize now that I'm also mentally tired, so playing a strategy game might not have been the best idea, because I'm probably going to make a mistake, and I'm going to be like, oh, I'm so dumb, and it's going to be great. You guys are either going to be shouting at me, calling me an idiot, or you guys are going to be like, yes, yes, I want to see your pain, because... That's how I watch YouTubers anyways, and I'm always just either, I'm with you 100% of the way, buddy, I love you, or I'm just like, yes, yes, I want to see you cry, please lose. <laughs> uh, I think that guy can hit Rise, not that guy, but the uh, other axe guy that I was hoping would hit Oscar, but, oh, he's just gonna retreat? Uh, okay then, that's, that's fine, I guess. Titania arrives, but we're gonna try not to use her. Well, I might have to use her, because there's a lot of guys here, and I don't think I can take them all at one turn. Of course not, I can't take them all at one turn. I'm being dumb. Um, let me see, what's this bro's range? Okay, looks like I'm good to go on that bro's range. Boy! Nah, boy can't kill that guy this time. That's interesting. That's a stronger bandit. And that just seems like a waste there. I guess I can just... Boyd can just come over here. Uh, uh, I don't like it. Uh, uh. Let me up. There we go. How about... Can I do anything good? No. Well, I guess he's gonna have to. Let's see, if I say all three of them can do around 7 damage, then Ike will be dead, but odds are one of them will miss, hopefully. The end card! Play all the fanfares! You made it! Congratulations and whatnot! I salute thee, viewer! Now then. There's some stuff on the screen you can click on if you want to, but honestly, I'd be much more appreciative if you were to just leave some comments below. You know, maybe maybe tell me a joke or give me feedback. I mean, even telling me how much I suck. I don't care. <laughs> Water off from my back. But seriously though, I want that feedback.